Welcome back to St. Mary's. Uh, 40 minutes done from the Pyramid Rec Center. The Rockets lead the Lincolns by a score of uh, 6-2. Joined now by uh, St. Mary's uh, GM. Lots of people recognize this name from uh, Strathroy, uh, Billy Bourne. Uh, let's first talk about yourself, uh, your road back to uh, being the GM here in St. Mary's. Well, uh, basically I defaulted into it. <laughs> You've been with the organization for a long time. Take us through your history here. Well, this is 14th year. I started uh, when I uh, come out of Lucan and uh, over here to, just to help out uh, assistant coach with uh, Jason Bukla. And it just kind of progressed into different jobs. And uh, I've been GM a couple of times, assistant coach a couple of times, interim coach many a time. You've had a lot of hats here with the uh, St. Mary's Lakers. Why the decision? Uh, well, I, you, you fell into the position, but you still had to make the choice, yeah, I want to do it. What, what based your decision on that? Well, I see, I saw what was going on last year, and it, uh, as everybody knows, it kind of fell apart. I didn't like to see that happen again and more or less uh, get things back on track best we could. And, and being familiar with uh, the people in the organization, I thought it would be better than bringing in somebody new. And it, well, I was more or, less, more or less asked if I would do it, and I hummed it over and pondered it a bit, but I decided I'd do it again. Well, there's a lot of people for that very reason that are glad that you uh, took the spot as GM here in St. Mary's. Obviously, you knew you are going to have a young team this year. Um, how was the off season for you? Was it busy? Did you start looking at the this year's roster right when last year ended? Yeah, basically that's the way you do it. Most teams, all teams do it that way. Uh, really, Chris, we've had a, a tough start. Uh, this is more or less our training camp now. Tuesday night, you had five new guys on the ice for the first time with the, with the rest of the skaters. And like our first game in LaSalle, 13 guys the first game in Junior B and you know, holy mackerel like, uh, they're still getting their eyes open tonight and you know it's going to take a long time <laughs> shorter than hope than we hope but uh, to get them accustomed to what happens and the speed and the, the physical play etc how do you how do you handle that as a as a general manager this type of scenario uh, I would assume you just got to throw the GM book out the window and do what you think is best, but you've had experience as a GM before. How has that experience helped you in this type of scenario? Well, to tell you the truth, I think we got the players we wanted uh, long term, for sure. Short term, I got to leave it up to the coaches to get things cracking and do their thing with the young players. Uh, like I say, uh, we got some good talent here, they're very young. And to have patience and let the coaches do their thing. That's that's the mandate right now, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you've been on the bench before here in St. Mary's. When you have such a young team and you're going to have a, a, a learning curve season, how important is it or what tools do you use to keep the positiveness in that dress room as opposed to frustration? That's a good question. I, our captain, we named Mike Siddle as captain. He's a great player and he's a great leader. He's already, already showed that. And uh, Braden Blight just came back from Kingston on Tuesday night. He's our other captain. And, and our only 20-year-old is Nico Gian Antonio. And he play, he's played in the Junior B for three years with Guelph. So those are the three guys we're leaning on right now because other than that, we've, we've got four guys that play Junior B. What's your, uh, what's your message as a general manager to your, to your hockey club this year for this particular year? To the players, <laughs> well, be patient. You got to work a lot harder than you've shown so far, and I hope you're learning every shift. I appreciate your time. It's always a pleasure sitting down and talking with you. Congratulations on the GM role, and good luck with this season. Uh, we know you're going to do a fantastic job uh, molding this franchise as they get older. We appreciate this, Bill. Thank you. Bill Bourne, GM of the uh, St. Mary's uh, Lincolns. When we come back, our scoreboard in our period summary. You're listening to Strathair Rockets Hockey, brought to you by Domino's Pizza on 105.7 MyFM.